Hi Aquarius, this is your March 2021 general monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for watching. So we're going to be looking into your energy for this month. Remember guys, these messages are super general, so if something doesn't resonate, it's probably not for you. It's probably for somebody else, so just leave it. If you do want something specifically catered to your energy, I recommend booking a personal reading. It doesn't have to be with me, but if you'd like to book one with me, you can check all my information out down in the description box below. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of March. Your crowning energy is coming up as death. So there is some kind of transmutation. Interesting, you have acceptance twice. Wow, you have it at the bottom of this deck and the bottom of this deck. Check this out. So I think that you're coming to a place of peace with something that's vastly changed. I think your sense of stability has vastly changed. Something involving your home has vastly changed. Your relationships with others, your job, something that gave you a sense of stability. And I think that you're finally coming to a place where you are accepting this change has happened and you're ready to look forward to the future. Some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Or a Scorpio. Yeah, I'm seeing where you are coming to a place of peace with something. You were very, very attached to something, Aquarius, and it was unhealthy. It was an unhealthy attachment because the devil is not a healthy energy. Especially with the death card, for some of you, this may have been life-threatening. Like, there may have been an addiction here that was life-threatening, or it was threatening the well-being of you. Threatening your well-being. But with the Four of Swords, it's like, you know, you're coming to a place of understanding. I think that this situation still is on your mind quite a bit, but overall, I think you are at a place of peace. You're in recovery mode in the month of March. Let's see what's in the heart of your reading. Freedom, yeah. You're setting yourself free from something that was very restrictive. The devil, you may have been dealing with somebody who put limitations on you or something that put limitations on you. You were holding yourself back. You were limiting yourself in a situation and now you have the freedom to do what you've been looking to do. The freedom to pursue those opportunities that have been presented to you. For some of you, maybe it was a relationship. Maybe you were involved with somebody who was holding you back from being your highest self. That can sometimes be the devil energy as well. A presence that hinders us rather than pushes us further. So something was hindering you. Could have been a relationship. Could have been something involving a mother or a sibling. Yeah, but it seems as though that connection or that situation has fallen apart. For some of you, it may have been a business relationship or a work relationship. Some of you might like own a restaurant or you may work in service. There may have been a relationship that you had. I'm seeing somebody who works in a bakery or someone who works in like a, a cafe with like pastries We're working somewhere with pastries or sweets, ice cream. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's making me hungry. But I am seeing where some of you work in that environment and you may have had a relationship with someone that didn't work out. Someone who may have helped you. There may have been some kind of like influence on you. But they weren't the best influence. Like, I don't think that their intentions were bad. 
with the devil card, like, and with the acceptance card, and with the tower, and with the sun. Like, I don't think that this person had bad intentions, whether this was a coworker or a romantic interest or a family member or a friend. I think that they were just kind of chaotic. Like, this person just kind of has a chaotic energy to them and they brought that chaos into your life. They brought some kind of issues into your life that were unnecessary. They were messing with your own stability. They were bringing you a sense of stress. Interesting, but some of you are still quite attached to this person. Clarify the Four of Swords, please. And you may get a phone call from this person. Because I see some of you heading right back into that devil energy. I'm hearing a relapse. So someone may have relapsed in your life. Or you may feel like you relapsed in a situation where there was an addiction. Maybe it was with a person. Maybe you told yourself, oh, that's it. I'm ghosting them. I'm not talking to them anymore. This situation is toxic for me. It's got me running all over the place. It's got me running all over the place in my head. This person lives rent free in my head. I need to let it go. But with the Knight of Swords running back towards the past with the Devil card, this is giving me the vibe that some of you may, or, and I feel like this is you, especially if you're an Aquarius with Cap in your chart, or maybe Leo. You may end up running back to something from your past. And you may still kind of be waiting up on someone from your past or something from your past. Clarify the Three of Wands, please. Interesting. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Once again, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But I think that this is the energy that you are in, the Queen of Wands. Confidently going after new goals, new desires. Setting new goals, setting new desires. Feeling desirable, right? Um, that's the devil and the Queen of Wands, a very desirable energy. Free love type of energy. You're getting attention from every which way, Aquarius, because you look good. You're very desirable, and it's because I think that some of you, like, you're very eloquent. You talk very fast, but I talk fast too, so it's okay. Um, with the Devil and the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, sorry, not Queen of Swords. Devil, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. This is giving me somebody who's a smooth talker, and they know how to talk their way into some panties, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. That is all I'm going to say about that. Um... But there may be somebody here who comes in, Aquarius. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the smooth talker. You guys can be pretty eloquent. I feel like air signs in general are very eloquent people. So I'm seeing somebody who goes and sweet talks their way back into a situation that they were possibly in the process of getting over. Yeah, because you got five of pentacles. So if you're, I really feel somebody who's a cap, a cap placement, Aquarius, Capricorn, or Aquarius, Taurus. I'm seeing somebody who was finally getting over something, a very hard period within your relationships. You're moving on from something and then you fall right back into it with the devil. And the Knight of Swords. And some of you already know you're going to make this decision too. Because Queen of Wands already knows what she's going to do. Whether you tell her or not. <laughs> 
she's a little rebellious, right? So you may have people around you telling you like, hey, you know, I don't know if, if that's the way to do it. If this is the way to go about this situation. But what I'm getting with this Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands is some of you are waiting for someone to come back. Like you almost know that there's an energy here that's still very attached to you. I'm seeing a very aggressive energy. Somebody aggressively wanting something. Maybe it's sex. Maybe that's what they're aggressively pushing. Because somebody's being a little pushy with something or a little forceful with something. And I think that this might push you away or it might push them away if this is you because the page of swords is here at the bottom of the deck the knight of swords is here this is something done without tact like and i really feel like this involves something sexual like somebody may be trying to kind of pressure somebody into having sex with them or trying to pressure somebody into doing something i'm just seeing a bad influence like there's somebody here around you aquarius that's a negative influence in your life. And I think that some of you are aware of who this is. This person has nothing to offer you. Especially if you're dealing with somebody who has strong earth placements in their chart. But the moon and the sun are here, so you're aware of this. But yeah, there's definitely someone here who has not the best influence on you. And I feel like in the month of March, you might be really seeing that. Because what's, what's in the dark will always come to light. That's what the moon and the sun together are indicating. So there's something here that's coming out. Somebody's going to be really showing their true colors in the month of March. And Aquarius, this might cause you to distance yourself, to detach yourself. Because you go from the Knight of Swords and the Devil into the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So what this is telling me is if you've walked away from this with from this situation from this person from this job from whatever it is that's toxic in your life whatever it is that's not necessarily the best influence it doesn't influence your personality in a good way it doesn't influence your mood in a good way it doesn't influence your decisions in a good way whatever this is whatever this addiction is or whatever this attachment is I do see you going back to it possibly one more time before you truly recognize that you're done with it. For some of you, this may have already happened because this is in the past position. So within the past month, three to four weeks, you may have experienced this situation, like relapsing back into this situation. But I'm telling you, if you haven't already, like if this is a person and this person hasn't returned into your life they're going to be within the next three to four weeks and i'm telling you aquarius like some of you are really going to be seeing the true colors of this person because this person's good at manipulating with the devil and the knight of swords especially with the page of swords like they're very calculated this is somebody who's very calculated and like I said, like not to say that this person's bad, so to say, like I think that they're just kind of selfish. Like they don't really think about other people. 
There's no cups here. There's no thoughtfulness. When, when the thoughts are there, they're very analytical. They're not thinking about how their, their actions affect other people. They're not being empathetic. So this is somebody who may lack empathy. They may be... I'm getting the energy, kind of like a Gemini energy, where it's like one minute they're one person, and then the next minute they're somebody completely different. This could all be also be somebody who you work for or who you work with. This could also be a family member or a friend. But there's an energy here that feels very... I don't know, it's, it's something you should be doubting. If you're doubting this energy, it's because your intuition is trying to tell you something. Because <laughs> some of you are being very observant with the situation. You're analyzing this and you're like, there's something not right about this situation. Like aside from that, I think things are really good. You have joy, you have freedom. You're going through a lot of changes right now. A lot of transformations as always, right? We're just in a constant flow of forever change and transformation. But I think that this is a pretty damn good period in your life. Once again, I think that some of you over the course of the next um, couple of months, I feel like you're gonna be moving into this place of feeling at peace with your life. Especially if for the past like five to six months you've been in a really dark place. I think you can allow yourself to be at peace here. Possibly by Libra season. Something that you're starting now during this time or within the past three weeks, you're going to really be seeing the results and um, what you've invested during Libra season. You may be doubting it right now. You may be doubting it, but I promise you, like over the course of the next few months, something is going to bring you so much joy. Because I'm seeing it as like the process of baking something, like in this acceptance card. It's like you're taking all of the ingredients that are necessary for this relationship to thrive or for this um, situation to be nurtured and grown into something really positive. You're just taking everything that's necessary and putting it in and cooking up something really amazing. So maybe somebody does like to cook. Maybe some of you are going to be starting your own food blog or, you know, your own cooking channel on YouTube or something like that. A TikTok, whatever. But I'm seeing something that you're working on now that... You know, if you don't have a lot of confidence in it already, I think you should because you have Queen of Wands. Those doubts and those fears are going to come through. But it's going to be important to stay balanced, especially around those people who aren't the best influence. Like there's either one or maybe two people who it's like they're never around when things are bad, but they're always around when things are good. Like night and day, they switch up. But they want to come around when you're in a joyous place. And it's because you always accept them when they do. You know, the reason they continue to come back around is because you always let them back in. You always accept them. But it seems to me that for some of you, if you're dealing with an earth sign, or maybe another air sign, it seems to me that this individual only comes around when they need something from you. Because there's somebody here in your energy field, Aquarius, that they're very selfish. They don't think about people. They don't think about how their actions affect other people. They, they kind of use people. Like I said, there's not a lot of cups here. There's no cups here. The only water energy I have is the moon, and that's like secretive energy, right? Sus energy. So this might be somebody who kind of manipulates to get what they want. 
So just be mindful. Be mindful of who you're letting into your energy and who you're letting into your space because I think that you are, for some of you, doubting some people around you. You're doubting some situations around you because they're not giving you what you invest in them. Maybe it's a job. Maybe you're starting to doubt your job because you're, you're exhausted. You're exhausted. You're putting in so much work and getting the bare minimum. And you just kind of have to accept it. Like maybe you've already talked to your boss about this and they're like, you should be happy you even have a job right now, honey. Like that's kind of what I'm hearing. Like somebody has a really shitty boss and they're very, like there's an unequal distribution of like power or there's something imbalanced about this particular figurehead. They're not a great decision maker. They're very driven by their ego. Like somebody here in your life, Aquarius, is very driven by their ego. But I think it's important that you really focus on you right now, guys. Because I'm telling you, when you do that, you're bringing all of these people back around. You're bringing all of these individuals back around. Like whenever you thrive, you create that magnetic energy that draws these individuals in. And I'm telling you, if you've been ghosted by someone, because some of you have, if you've been in a situation where somebody stopped talking to you, they left you out in the cold, they made you feel neglected, they made you feel all of these negative emotions, you know, they were very cold towards you. They weren't the most loving. I'm telling you, give it like four to five months, guys. Give it like four to five months, maybe even less. You're going to be in this really good headspace, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's going to be some people that come back around when you're in a good place who were not there for you when you were in a low place. And they always do this. Like, this is a pattern. I'm picking this up. This is a pattern. This is a cycle. With the karmic energy, it's like, this is something that happens repeatedly. So just be mindful, guys. Be mindful. I think it's important that you do you keep focusing on yourself and thrive. You're heading towards something really, really positive with three of wands. Something that you're starting now or something that you're either starting, you've started within the last three weeks or you will be starting it within the next three weeks. Any ideas that you have that come to mind, act on them. Act on them because I'm telling you guys, you're going to really thank yourself later. But that is what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I will see you later. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your month, guys. Bye-bye.